Hey everyone and welcome to this DIY engineers video. In this video we'll be going over the water level sensor with Arduino. We'll be going over the connections to the Arduino, how to program it with Arduino. We'll also be going of course over testing with Arduino. So hopefully this is something you're interested in. If you are, please stick around for the rest of the video. Let's get started. Alright, so let's start by looking at some of the details of the sensor. The sensor has three pins. We have S which is the signal pin, and this basically goes to a analog I.O. pin on the Arduino. So we use this pin to send the signal of the overall water level that we're measuring with the sensor. Then we have plus and minus. Plus goes to 5 volts on the Arduino, and then minus will go to ground. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Uh, then we can look at the overall length of the sensor. This, not the overall length, but the length that we can measure over. And this is important because it will define the range that you can measure when you place it. So depending on your application, you know, this might matter. Uh, so we can see that the overall measuring length is 1.6 inches, uh, or in metric we have 41 millimeters approximately. So now, as I said, the connections were signal plus and minus, and we can see how we have the minus goes to ground as shown here in this breadboard diagram. Then we have the plus being connected to five volts, now, it's acceptable voltage is between 3.3 and 5. We're just connecting to the 5 in here. And then we have the signal, which connects into A0 as an analog input. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the Arduino code. It's pretty simple. So first, we call out the analog pin that we're going to be using to take the signal. As I said, this is going to be A0, as shown in the prior diagram. Uh, we're then going to set up the serial communication. And we're going to use that mainly just to show the the reading value on the serial monitor. Then when we get to the void loop, uh, we are calling as an integer the water level, which is going to be based on the analog read of level, which is the variable that we define as A0, so the pin. Then we're going to print the water level as a text in the serial monitor, and then the water actual water level value as a lane, which will you know go to the next lane. And then we'll have a delay of uh, 200 milliseconds, you can change that if you want, but it won't make a difference. Now, the easiest way to copy and paste this code will be to go to DIYengineers.com on the specific blog post for this uh, tutorial. I'm going to leave a link in the description. All you got to do is essentially just copy and paste this, although for this one it's not too long that you could just type it, but it's easier to just really just copy and paste. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to go there and take the code. So now let's go back to Arduino IDE. And now uh, we're ready to run the code. So let's first upload the code. We wait for it a little bit. All right, so now we're there, and all we got to do is open the serial monitor. So we can see it's just providing a zero. This means there's really no water on the, on the sensor. So, you know, there's no resistance to the flow of electricity through the sensor, which means no water level being felt. So... Now I'll just take the water sensor and we'll dip it in water and you'll see how um, the, the reading in the serial monitor will increase. So let's start. Now I took it out and you can see how it reduced back to 160 or so, but you know, it's still not at zero. If I take a paper towel and wipe it, now we're at zero. So you can see, I mean, even if it's not dipped, the fact that it has some water in it does change the reading. So you just consider that, uh, but I'll dip it again. Now I'll take it out. Again, still at the 170 or so. Wipe it off. Had some connection issues there. I caused it to give crazy numbers. So I pulled one of the wires by accident. But anyways, we get it back at zero. All right, well, this is the video. Uh, I know it's a short one, but this one's a pretty simple one. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.